Today's incident response teams face a number of complex challenges. First, they have to sort through what is often an overwhelming number of alerts, identify the top priorities, and address the largest threats to the organization. For each of those high priority events, they must understand the scope of the threat and identify the attack vector. What steps were taken to compromise the system and how did the attack slip past the existing defenses? The next step is to take action to stop and remediate any active breach. That often requires getting physical access to run commands or even re-image systems. The effort is time consuming, especially for larger, more distributed companies. However, it is a critical step. If a system is not properly remediated, there is a risk of recurrence, or even worse, further propagation across other network systems. Fast, comprehensive action here can be the difference between an incident and a serious breach. Lastly, it's important to learn from these events and use any available indicators to protect the larger environment and ensure that similar attacks do not slip through the cracks next time. In this demonstration, we are going to look at how CrowdStrike can help address these challenges by providing complete information and reducing response time to minutes. We will see how CrowdStrike Falcon helps prioritize events and provides all of the context and details needed to take decisive action. Leveraging the extensive capabilities of real-time response, we will use that information to limit the exposure, remediate the system, and ensure the rest of our environment is protected against this attack. We will start with the Windows system, where a company insider is using a USB drive to install a Bitcoin miner. Once it is installed, we see the Bitcoin application running and can take a deeper look at what else has changed. The USB executable has dropped a copy of a PowerShell script. It also appears that a registry key was put in place to maintain persistence after reboot. These are important details as we look to remediate this system. We want to be sure that each is addressed as we restore the system to its original state. As we shift perspectives and look at the Falcon console, we see the related detection for this system. There is a complete process tree that highlights bcminer.exe. We see that it was installed from an external drive, and we can use the hash of the file later in our remediation process. As we scroll down under Disk Operations, Falcon has recorded the exact destination where the PowerShell script was dropped. Looking back at the process tree, we also see where PowerShell was detected as part of this event. Also, Falcon reports the command line parameters used to execute the Bitcoin miner. In the last step of the process tree, we see the details behind the registry key that was placed on the system, including the exact command used along with the full key and value. This information will help us ensure that our cleanup is thorough. Now that we understand the scope of this threat, we can take action to do something about it. Our first step in the remediation process is to temporarily shut down the machine's network access. We want to ensure that there is no lateral movement across the network while we work to remediate this specific system. Next, we are going to use the Real-Time Response Console to remove the minor application and perform specific commands on the compromised system. From this session, we can begin the cleanup process. For the purposes of the demo, you will also see a picture-in-picture -picture display of the compromised system. As we go through the remediation commands, you will see real-time results. We will start by listing the currently running processes and identifying the ID for the running instance of PowerShell. With the process ID, we can now issue the command to kill PowerShell and effectively stop the application. Next, we want to extract a copy of the BC Miner PowerShell script. This will give us a chance to do further forensic investigations after the remediation is complete. Even without local system access, we would have the path of that file thanks to the Falcon detection details that we reviewed earlier. Now that we have a copy, we can proceed with cleaning the endpoint and issue a command to remove the local copy of the script. Lastly, it's important that we clean up the registry. You will remember that in the Falcon UI, we saw the location and name of the key that was created to keep the Bitcoin miner up and running. Once that is deleted, we have successfully undone all of the changes and restored the original system state. 
The complete remediation process took just over one minute. As we look to close this incident, there are two remaining actions we need to take. Now that the system has been fully remediated, we can lift the network containment so that the user can return to business as usual. Because the remediation was complete in minutes, there was minimal impact to productivity. Also, we want to use the information we reviewed earlier to protect the rest of our organization. In this case, we can add the hash of the USB executable to the policy blacklist. This will ensure that no Falcon protected system can execute this file in the future, regardless of how it might be delivered. The same hash could be leveraged to improve our other defenses, such as firewall and web content filters. If we try to run the USB file again on our system, we see an execution error. The policy is now in place to block the hash on this and every other system in the environment. As you saw, CrowdStrike's powerful EDR solution not only brought the alert to our attention, but also provided us all of the information needed to take effective and complete measures to remediate this incident. Real-time response gave us the tools to execute on the cleanup without needing physical access or costing the user hours of productivity. The provided indicators were also used to improve our organization's overall defenses. CrowdStrike empowered our analysts to respond and perform a complete thorough remediation in minutes, stopping the incident before it could become a serious breach.